Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up-to-the-minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Report, Trump's doing it. U.S. Embassy to move to Jerusalem. It has long been speculated that President-elect Donald Trump would move the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in recognition of that city historically being the capital of the Jewish nation. According to a report from CNN, it appeared as though that move was just about to happen, as the incoming Trump team has reportedly informed allies in the region that they were pushing ahead with the move despite an outcry from Arab and Muslim nations. Officials in Israel have speculated that the move could happen as early as May 24, the Israeli Jerusalem Day holiday that celebrates the reunification of the city following the 1967 Six-Day War that saw Israel effectively push back a coordinated attack by several Arab nations in the region. The Associated Press checked into what some of those consequences could be and what exactly an absolute explosion in the region would look like if the embassy were moved. And while some of the controversy may be overblown, there could be some serious ramifications if emotions are permitted to rule. Palestinians would of course be upset, as they claim Jerusalem as their own capital and would view the U.S. Embassy being moved there as a recognition of Israel's claim to the city. They have essentially threatened to end all negotiations regarding a peaceful solution to the issue, have intimated that further attacks could be forthcoming and insinuated that they would shift the entire financial burden for all Palestinians back to the Israeli government. The nation of Jordan, which serves as a sort of custodian over the sacred Islamic sites in Jerusalem and the West Bank, warned that moving the embassy would be crossing a red line that would inflame the Arab and Muslim world and expressed worries that such a move would undermine its efforts at maintaining peaceful relations and alliances with both Israel and the U.S. Other Arab and Muslim nations, speaking through representatives of the Arab League and Organization of Islamic Cooperation, said the move would be a huge setback to the potential two-state solution peace process and were hopeful that Trump will reconsider the move so as not to upset their Muslim populations. Regardless, by all accounts Trump appeared to be serious about making good on his campaign promise to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel by moving the U.S. embassy there and we are fully in support of that move. As for the threats of consequences and repercussions for the move, while they may be serious, it is difficult to place much stock in them, given the extreme opposition to the very existence of Israel by many Arab and Muslim nations and the fact that they won't be satisfied until the entire country and its population are wiped off the face of the earth, no matter where the capital or the embassies of allies are located. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter to spread the word that recent reports indicate that Trump still intends to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. What do you think of reports that Trump still intends to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.